I think we use a number of tools in business, have for many years, to make investment decisions. That's what companies do, frankly, is where do we invest capital? Human, financial, you know, ethical, whatever you want to use. And we use ROI quite often, especially for things that fall into environmental, if it's in an energy project or something. The problem is ROI has some serious flaws. Um, it's fine as a tool, as a mathematical tool, but we are very good at the I part. You know, what's the investment? What is the cash outlay? We're really not good at the R part. We know exact cash payback for certain things, but value from a, a decision in company, an initiative, can be much, much broader. We know that intellectually. It can be things like reduced risk, improved resilience, which is kind of the core of this book. It can be employees being much happier and more passionate and more engaged. It could be customers coming to your doors or, or keeping you as a supplier because of the things you're doing. There's many aspects. And in fact, the percentage of a company's value in the marketplace that comes from the stuff that's easy to measure has been dropping for 30 years steadily. It's now much less than half of the market cap of companies as a whole is the book value. So this other stuff that we don't put a good number on is actually most of the value. And so I'm just saying that we need to recognize that and put numbers on it when we can. There are better and better tools. And recognize that we do spend on many things in business without an exact number. And I use marketing as an example. We put an ad together. We put it on the Super Bowl. We spend a ton of money. What's the ROI on a Super Bowl ad? Nobody knows. And we accept that. We can't know. We can't know it for R&D, for entering new markets. So this set of um, issues, how do we tackle these big, long, mega challenges? Sometimes that requires strategic choices that we invest in without an exact ROI, and that's okay. <laughs>